Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this particular uh, forward operating base is very important to, uh, to our country. And uh, I want to thank the leadership of uh, our government, our Prime Minister, Honorable uh, Marape, Prime Minister Marape, and uh, Governor Fohela, who are insistent on trying to get a PNGD of base here in uh, Hela province. A very good initiative based on the fact that we house almost 19 billion you know, projects in, uh, in Hela province alone. And again, with the law and order situation in Hela, it's also fitting to be here to support our counterparts, the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary, to, to ensure stability, to ensure security is guaranteed to our people from Hela province. Defense, we take pride in our, our institution. We are the custodian of this, uh, this country. Our duties and responsibilities, our, our, our duties and responsibilities uh, for ensuring our borders, the land borders, sea and air are protected so that we can be able to ensure your safety, ensure your security as you go about your business. Man, Mary Golo Garden, man working business, also now you may open my NDP bank, you can go and be able to get your money and do business. That's our responsibility. With this forward operating base, we can be able to support those efforts. Me block time, this is the base on the 1st of April, 1st and 2nd of April. That commence our initial preparations for the national elections. And this base, as of that date, will remain a permanent FOB for the period of the year. I want to tell the people of Vela, we will remain here and continue to stay here until the third, third battalion is built. And then we will shift from here across to the new, uh, new, new barracks. That is the plan. And we are going to stay here for the rest of the existence of Ella, Ella province. I want to assure you the benefits by this law, this addition law, the, the Marapa government, it will bring economic activity, it will bring stability, it will bring growth, it will bring prosperity to the people of Ella. We will get our pay and spend it at Tari Town. We will, we will have established hospitals, we will have established primary schools within the, within the barracks. And more services will be established. And we will extend those services in going, in going out to local, local communities. So the benefits in itself are enormous. And most importantly, our presence here will ensure the projects here in Nella province continue. I'm Lieutenant Colonel John Giregire, Director of uh, Engineers Family Defense Force. I'll give you a rundown on uh, what has happened over, uh, over, over the last 16 months on this FOP White Valley Village. Honorable Prime Minister, we have a plan. We have a plan and design for this uh, forward operating base. And we operate it, we're constructing in phases. There's four phases to construction of this facility or forward base. What you have seen now is phase one. There's two, three more, three more phases to go. So current facilities we have is to accommodate 112 men, especially in preparation for election. And there will be a lot more facilities coming into phase two. But what we have got now is a 48 men here and another 48 men down, down, uh, down at, at the end of this uh, field. And we have a detachment commander, three low set houses, 
to, uh, uh, to accommodate command elements and permanent staff of this forward base. So all up, 120 men can comfortably accommodate it here in FOB Pipeli. And uh, I might add, this is the best facility forward base you have ever seen in Papuanian Defense Force. If you have been to Wanimo, if you have been to Kimga, this is much better. It is a four-star hotel. <laughs> so soldiers, no complaint. This is better than two other forward bases. So you are must uh, use some facility and look out him. Look out him so that you make a walk in walk block. Country in Papuanini. Hela is a very uh, important province because of the resource we have here in Hela. That's why Defense Force is here to stay. It will be the catalyst for economic and social development in this province, in this country. That is one thing that we need to understand and be aware of. Uh, first, phase one cost is total of five million kina that has been spent so far. And it's renovation of all the rundown facilities from the uh, Tari Technical School. And in phase two, we're gonna bring in new buildings, accommodation, uh, accommodation and other facilities like workshop, uh, regimental aid post facilities, uh, mechanical workshop buildings, uh, storeroom, and so many water supply, sewage, pond sewage, we will bring them on board. But we will construct it in phases so you may not complain, you may one bell and I walk one ten.